upcoming test. So it's either called a performance task or a review for your test on chapter 12, which is on geometry. So it was a fun chapter to do. So uh, let's okay, let's get started. Uh, choose the best term from the box to complete the sentence. Okay, so we have some terms over here. So here it says, a blank is formed by points that make a curved path line segment or both okay well that's when we first introdu uh, introduce this section right here so this is called a uh, a plane shape right there so a plane shape is formed uh, by points that make curved paths or line segments or both okay so uh, makes polygons that we found out also right here how about this one uh, a blank has six sides and six angles well that one's pretty easy so uh, six um, uh, has a X in it just like hexagon has an X in it so this one is hexagon right here okay so a hexagon has six sides and six angles it's a polygon that has six sides okay so blank appears to never cross or meet and are always in the same distance apart okay so that would be the parallel lines parallel lines are are the um, appear to never cross each other or never meet uh, and are always the same distance apart and so this last one is uh, perpendicular lines uh, that they are lines that meet it and they form a right angle okay so like your wall in your classroom those would be perpendicular okay so uh, we talked about that in fact right here here's some examples so look at the green sides of the polygon and tell if they appear to intersect and if they do intersect are they parallel and if they don't intersect I'm sorry are they perpendicular and if they don't intersect are they parallel Okay, so write all words that describe. So the green lines, now my son is colorblind, you guys. So what I did is I fattened them up here. So these are the green lines. I don't If you're not colorblind, this doesn't matter to you. But my son has a hard time seeing green. Anyway, so these would be um, these two lines right here. And so these ones are just intersecting. They don't look like they're perpendicular. Although these two right here would be perpendicular because they form a right angle right there. Okay, so these are just intersecting. Okay, so now these green lines are these guys right here. And they look like they make a nice right angle right there. So if they make a right angle, they're called perpendicular. Okay, and they intersect. All right, now these, we want to know these two green lines. Well, these two green lines don't intersect. So they're not intersecting, and they appear to be parallel to each other. Okay, so P drew uh, one side of a quadrilateral with four equal sides and no right angle. So it's not a square. It's one of those things that's called a rhombus. So draw the other three sides to complete uh, P is shape. Okay, it's kind of hard. So what I did is I just drew, so just as long as this side equals this side equals this side equals this side, and there's no right angles. That's... Uh, an angle that's greater than a right angle right here and this angle is less than a right angle right here okay so later we'll uh, discover that those are called acute angles not obtuse angles right there okay so Robert uh, saw a painting that included this shape so tell whether each statement about the shape is true or false okay so this one says the shape has no right angles all right well here clearly I see a right angle right there and right angle right there so that statement is definitely false okay all right, whoops, I almost uh, uh, cleared it away. Okay, so the shape has two angles greater than a right angle. Okay, all right, well, this angle looks like it's greater than a right angle, but this angle right here looks like it's less than a right angle right there. So, whoops, I'm sorry, so I answered this one right here first, you guys. So the shape has two right angles right there. That one's true. This one's false. That one's true right there because it does have two right angles. Okay, let's talk about those angles up there, okay? This angle right here is less than a right angle, and this angle up here is open more than a right angle, so it is a right angle. A right angle would go right here, and it would go right across here and make a nice rectangle right there if a right angle. So this one's open more than a right angle. This one's open less than a right angle. So the shape has two angles greater than a right angle. No, there's only one angle that's greater than a right angle. That's false. So the shape has one angle greater than a right angle. That one's true. Okay, easy enough. All right, so circle all the words that describe each quadrilateral. Okay, so this one is a quadrilateral. I'm going to circle this one right here. It's not a rhombus because not all four sides are equal. Looks like a trapezoid because just one pair of sides are parallel right here. And it's not a rectangle because there's no right angles in there. So we're going to circle quadrilateral and trapezoid. Okay, so over here... This one here is a definite rectangle. I think you're comfortable with that. So it's a rectangle. It's not a square because not all four sides are equal to each other right there. It's not a trapezoid because a trapezoid looks like this with only one pair of parallel sides. 
uh, and it's not a rhombus either so it's just a it's just a rectangle on that one right there okay all right, this one right here, this one almost looks like a square, except that's not a right angle right there. It is a rhombus, because that side equals that side equals that side equals that side. So it is a rhombus. It's not a trapezoid, because this is a trapezoid over here. And it's not a rectangle, because there's no right angles in there. So I'm just thinking it's just going to be that rhombus right there. Okay, so men used a Venn diagram to sort uh, some shapes. And so over here, this circle represents polygons that have right angles. And this circle over here represents quadrilateral, so there's four equal sides. So in the middle is where they are the same, where they are quadrilaterals and they have right angles. So this says right here, draw a plain shape that belongs inside the left circle of the diagram, but not inside the right circle of the diagram. Okay, or not where they overlap, that's what it says. So, so draw some more figures that would be over here. So we want polygons that have right angles but are not quadrilaterals okay so something like that here's one that's a right angle there's a right angle there there's a right angle there there's a right angle there so and it's not uh, four sides so because if it was four sides it would be a quadrilateral so this side has one two three four five looks like six right there okay so there's there's an example there's another one right there just as long as it has a right angle and it doesn't have um, uh, four equal sides. So I could have drawn another right triangle like that. I don't think I did. I think I drew something else. Yeah, here's another one where there's this has more than one right angle right here, but it's definitely not a quadrilateral. So those are some examples right there. All right, so how can we describe the shape in the section where the circles overlap? Okay, so over here looks like it's quadrilaterals with right angles. So so the bottom one here, so this bottom one is a rectangle with two pairs of parallel sides, four right angles. So, um, so it's asking how can we describe these shapes where these circles overlap. So this one is a rectangle, has two pairs of parallel sides, the top and bottom and the left and right. And it has four right angles in there. And then the top one right here is a square. It also has two pairs of parallel sides, top and bottom, left and right. It also has four right angles but the squares have four equal sides also. Okay, so divide the shapes into the number of equal parts shown and then write the fraction that describes each part. Okay, so here they want us to divide this into three equal parts. So, so I went ahead and did it like that. So each part represents one-third of the whole part. So this is one-third, this is one-third, this is one-third. Okay, they want us to divide this one into six equal parts. Well, what if we did this? There's two equal parts right there. Let's cut it in half again on that way and that way right there. So there it is in six equal parts. And then these six equal parts are nice little, they're called equilateral triangles. And each triangle is one-sixth of the whole hexagon right there. Okay, this one we're going to divide it into eight equal parts. There's two. There's four. Okay, there's eight equal parts. So each part represents one-eighth right there. Okay. All right, so which word describes this shape? Mark all that apply. Okay, is it a rectangle? Does it have right angles? Yes. Is it a rhombus? Does it have all equal sides? Looks like it does, so yes. Is it a quadrilateral? Yes. Is it a square? Yes. So all of them re uh, work on this, you guys. So all of them should work. So whoops, I didn't do rhombus. I should have done rhombus also, because it is a rhombus also. All of them apply. Okay, I made a mistake. So I make lots of mistakes. So select the correct answer choice for the following. Okay, which is not an example of a closed shape? Okay, this one right here is not closed because it didn't close off right there. So that one is not a closed shape right there. How about this one? Which shape is not a polygon? Okay, polygons have line segments for the sides and it's a closed polygon. So this one is not line segments, so it's this one right here. It can't have curved segments, okay? So which one is not a polygon? This one's not a polygon because it's not line segments. Okay, Teresa divided the shape into parts with equal areas. So this pink shape right here is divided into equal areas. Which fraction names the area of each part that it's divided into? Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 little squares in here. And each of these have four squares right here. So which fraction names the area that each part is divided into? Okay, it looks like they're divide it's taking this this whole rectangle and dividing it up into three equal spots right there. So each one represents one third of the whole area right there. Okay. This is one third of the area, this is one third of the area, and so is this. This is one third of the area. 
Okay, so Ernesto drew a shape with uh, two fewer sides and a hexagon. Which shape did he draw? Remember, hexagon, how I remember, is hexagon has an X in it and six has an X in it. So there's six sides. So if he drew one with two fewer sides, it's going to have four sides. Six minus two is four. So that would be the quadrilateral right there. Okay, triangle has three equal sides. Pentagon has five equal sides. Octagon is eight equal sides, but we want quadrilateral. Okay, so which quadrilateral appears to have only one pair of parallel sides? Okay, these two sides are parallel, these two sides are parallel, so this has two pairs of parallel sides. So does this, so does this. Only this one has the top and bottom parallel, so only one pair of parallel sides, so it's choice C. Okay, it's that trapezoid. Which polygon does not have a right angle in it? Okay, there's a right angle there, there's four right angles here. This one has two right angles right there and right there. Only this one does not have a right angle. Okay? All right. Uh, so let's look at this group of pattern blocks here. So uh, let's uh, sort the pattern blocks by the sides. How many groups did we make and explain how we sorted the shapes? Okay, so I see uh, 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 blocks here, pattern blocks that have three sides, some that have four sides, and then some that have six sides. So let's go ahead and, and shade these. So the three side one goes here, and then all the four side, this has four sides, this guy has four sides, this guy has four sides, I'll squeeze that right there, and then this guy has four sides, and then, and then this is my only six sided one right there, okay? So, all right, so uh, how many groups did we make? Well, we made three groups, and how did we do that? We counted the number of sides right there, okay? All right, so let's take that same pattern block and sort the pattern blocks by the angles. And so how many groups did we make? Okay, well, we've been dealing with right angles here, so we'll have we'll sort them by the ones that have right angles and the ones that don't have right angles in here, okay? So the one I see, there's a right angle right there. This one's going to go here, okay? And this one doesn't have a right angle, so that's going to go there. This one doesn't have a right angle. Neither does this one. There's no right angle in that one. There's no right angle in that one. And there's no right angle in that one right there. Okay, so uh, how many groups did we make? We made two groups, and we sorted them on whether they had a right angle or they didn't have a right angle. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And if it does, please click like and take care, you guys. Good luck on your test.